Welcome back to the barn. Today I'm going to see if I can get my uh, late father's old pickup F350 running. Hasn't been started since 2007, 2008. So come on, let's go do something, even if it's wrong. So here it sits in its natural habitat that's been uh, in for the last, well, what is that, 15, 16 years? That's nuts to think about. Um, hasn't been started. I, th I think it got towed to this point once upon a time, and I think I tried to start it one other one time since then, uh, back in 07 or 08, and no luck. As you can see, it's been used as a storage device for uh, aluminum scrap siding and such. And I mean, you know what aluminum scrap is going for right now. If you do, tell me, because I have no idea, honestly. I really don't know. I basically want to utilize the truck again, um, if not just to tinker with it, but actually use it a little bit. It's a, it was always a good running truck. Just a little, uh, little worse for the wear. Got barnacles and lichens and whatnot on it. But we'll get the hood opened up here and see if the engine's free and we'll go from there. So let's do a little walk around. I forget now if it's a 67 or 68 F350 stake bed pickup. Uh, it's a dually two wheel drive. It's got a uh, 360 under the hood and it's got the four speed transmission with a granny gear. Pops his old Twix wrapper still sitting in there. Doesn't smell too mousy, but you know they're you know they're in here. They're around. I'm sure the gas is absolutely pristine. There is a little bit of rust. I think the bed is probably in decent shape. Not loaded down for weight, but space-wise, she's uh, at capacity. Tires are down in the ground a little bit. Nothing, nothing she can't handle with a little bit of coaxing. Gonna need a little, gonna need a little spray away. Let's see, a little background. When I was 16, I didn't have my own truck. I was driving around my dad's truck. I crashed it. A little while later, we purchased another truck. How did that end up? Oh yeah, I crashed it. And then he said, let's get in the car one evening. We're going to look at a truck. And I, I got excited. And we pulled up to a barn and uh, this fella, this older gentleman had this thing. Fired right up. I was a little bit less excited. It's not a daily driver, obviously. It was a work truck for my dad and it was great. He loved it, therefore I in turn learned to, learned to love it. It's one of the first stick shift trucks I ever uh, drove on the street and it uh, has the torque of a wildebeest, but gas mileage of, I don't know, well, gets bad gas mileage, something terrible. My dad was a Ford fan, as far as pickup trucks anyway. So we went from a 80s F350 with a 306 cylinder to this bad boy. All right, I'll get you propped up and then we'll see if we can get the hood open here. Say, Lori, I'm gonna film now. You can go ahead and uh, start up the lawnmower. Oh, you beat me to it? Good work, good work. All right, let's see if we can get in here. Feels like, feels like it's popped. Oh dear. Holy catfish. The engine looks just like I remember. That inner fender, however, does not. That has gone south for the winter. I'm gonna need a two by four or something. Just hold on there, just. Holy cow, well, how do I remedy that? All right, got a broken piece of, or I should say used piece of old barn timber. I don't know if this is gonna do anything remotely what I need it to do, but. Oh yeah. Yeah, all right. Let me get you in here. See, it doesn't look too shabby. At uh, first glance, I don't see any squirrel nests or anything. But as you can see, that inner fender, that's just, that's just floating. That one's about a half a step off. Oh well, still, still appreciator nonetheless. 360. Um, this baby, from my memory, always had an exhaust leak over here. So now that I'm older and have uh, learned up on these a little bit, I realize that there's probably a manifold stud broken off, although I don't see one. First things first, I don't know how I'm gonna go about this, but let's see if this thing will spin. I think it's in neutral already. I'm just gonna tighten up a belt. Oh, yeah, she's going. Is there a bolt on there? There is. This thing's oh, way bigger. 
Uh oh, I might not have that. Nope, way bigger than that as well. Ouch. All right, well, I'm too lazy to run to the big barn, get more equipment at the moment. So let's just keep her going. A little compression there. Mm -hmm. Can I pull up on that? Oh man, it's not taking it. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. I feel happy with that. All right, let's sweep some compost off the top of the air cleaner. Should get a blower. Dual master cylinder. Huh. I bet this is a 68 then. Oh. Pristine. Pristine. All right. Let's cover that up before it knocks some stuff down in there. Who am I kidding? All right. Let's just loosely put that on. Here's the dipstick. Oh, that's way shorter than I thought it was. Holy cow. That is, that's about the cleanest oil I have in any piece of equipment on this homestead here. It's got a power flow. Uh, what's that thing called? Oil filter. All right. Ow. This is uh, a walnut tree. Is, it's fun. All right. There is 0% chance that that battery is going to do anything. I'm going to get rid of this battery. I'm going to swap out. I got a, I got a boat battery over here. It's a fancy title. Not even. Holy Toledo. Hmm. All red cabling. I like it. Let me find that screwdriver that I just chucked into the tall grass. Do you guys have any ratcheting wrenches? Love them. They are quite handy. Every time I torque on this thing, the hood shakes. It scares me. Oh, there it goes. Sub Zero out. That's weird. Battery tray actually looks solid. Old piece of inner tube in there. Oh, bump the prop rod. Okay, that's that. Mosquito just has a, a right thigh. There's really like nothing electronic on this thing. So I can't imagine anything would be happening. No fires, no sparks. I could have cleaned up the terminals just to make sure we had a good contact, but let's go inside and see if, see if anything happens. Mm, don't hold much. Oh, headlights. See down the tree? Clutch actually sounds like it's doing something, or feels like it's doing something. Dash lights. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, that just brought back some memories there, guys. Holy cow. We gotta get that fuel line off, because I, I can only imagine that that is absolutely atrocious, what's in that gas tank. That, uh, yep, that's a zero octane varnish. It smells sticky. What's this for? Is this for doing oil change on the side of the road pops? What is that? Or is that for sound? Or is that the fire barrier for when you get hit on the side here and it punctures the gas tank? I don't think, I don't think so. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo that clamp or cut that rubber line. Thinking, thinking. Ooh, what's in here? Hmm, nothing as far as the eye can see. Oh, it does smell like radiator. Er, smells like radiator. It smells like coolant. Yeah, I'm gonna take that line off. Whew, that fuel is. It's ripe. Actually, it's not even fuel anymore. Oh, this must be my old man's handiwork. Flare nut on the, well, your factory fitting on the fuel line, just stuffed into a rubber hose with a, with a pipe clamp on it. Ouch, elbow. Oh, that is, that is ripe. Ripe as the day is long. I do have a catch pan right there catching whatever comes out of it. Air cleaner, coming off. Knock something down the old carburetor. Still got the wing nut, that's crazy. That does appear to be stuck. Which portion? What is it? What's stuck? 
carburetor. Oh, the manual choke functions. But the rest of it doesn't. Let me try the pedal, see if I can get it to wiggle at all. Nope, stuck solid. Okay, what can I take apart? Quickly, easily, not lose something. Oh, I just need a flathead screwdriver, perfect. Snap this off real quick. Probably a irreplaceable part. That's off. Okay, she's the linkage. That makes me feel good. I think. All right, let's have a look see. Oh, gas is nasty. So my pedal linkage, I think it's actually this unit right here, froze up. The actual linkage on the carburetor moves and even moves the accelerator pump, which I'm sure is dried out and absolutely trashed, but just needs a little, little lube. Oh, it was rebuilt at one point. Want to get some gas, dribble it down the throat? Well, should we check for spark first? Probably should. All right, let's see what I can rig up here. So let's pull this guy. Okay. Sounds like she's got one cylinder that's a little lopy. Oh, that gas is great. Okay. Let's actually look. Oh. Huh. I should probably turn the key on. Jeepers creepers. Oh. Dome light's working. Does not appear to have spark. Points don't even seem to be opening up. Shocking. They're a little fuzzy. Yeah, they're a lot fuzzy. All right, I'm gonna turn the key off, go get some sandpaper, or maybe just scratch at it with the pliers. Should I do that? Take the rotor off that I'll forget to put back on. I know they make points files for this stuff. I don't have one. I've got the same roll of 240 grit sandpaper that I've had since the 90s. And sand. All right, turn the key back on. And please. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, right, is that it? Yep, screw there. Okay. How do you get to that one? Okay. Let's try that. Well, I certainly hope the camera picked that up because that was bright yellow spark. Oh, where were you guys? Where were you guys? Gosh, that's like the ongoing joke. It's like losing your 10 millimeter socket is not putting the rotor back on a distributor. Here I go doing it. All right, let's just put a little bit around there, sure. And contact. Are you serious? That was fantastic. <gasps> Ouch! <sighs> oh, that's gonna leave a mark. I gotta get a gas supply to this. Oh my gosh, this is like the most exciting thing. I know that's the wrong thing to do. I'm just pouring it on the intake, but I'm excited. Accelerator pump is gone. But did you see how easy that thing popped off? 
my 2015 Silverado Duramax wouldn't even start after probably a week and a half of sitting in the driveway. This thing, psh, she don't care. Put a little gas that's made in this decade, pops right off. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh man, I bet you spewed a mouse house out the exhaust because that I can smell it. All right. Haven't touched a brake pedal. Well, frankly, I haven't had it running long enough to even know if anything else works. Is it puking oil at the bottom? Let's check that out. Nope, perfect. What? <laughs> That's some ripe, ripe gas. All right, one more. I'm thinking I'm losing daylight anyways. Oh no, what did I do with my key wire? My hands are all twisted up. I'm getting all nervous. She does not like a bit of throttle. That is so awesome. I'm going to clean up for tonight. See if I can come up with a plan for a gas um, supply. I'll figure it out from there. All right, so another thing that came to my attention, today would have been my dad's birthday. Hi. Hey, did you hear the truck run? No. You didn't hear him? Where's my, where's my starter wire? All right. Mm -hmm. Totally. Totally. It is very safe. Oh, by the way. That hinge is like floating in no man's land. That's a very structural piece of barn wood. Why don't you go in? You don't even have to go in. You can open up the door. And the key is on that side of the, on the dash, like under the steering column. Is, everything looks cool on this truck. Okay, crank her over. That sounds exactly like I remember the damn thing too. Yeah. Hey, that's all right. That's awesome. It's better than no sound. That is awesome. Well, it's a couple weeks later. I got a uh, new carb kit on the shelf now, so I can pull this carburetor off, take it into the shop, see if I can get it squared away. You got to remove the fuel feed, got a couple vacuum lines, and the linkage, and then I think it's four nuts. Oh, well, I guess the throttle. Or that's a choke. Should be pretty easy. Move the choke. Oh, oh, came loose. I thought I'd just get rounded off there for a second. Because you know, I use nothing but the proper tools. I got a line wrench. No, I don't. That's a regular old open end wrench. I love being on my tippy toes, calves burning, stretched way out. Laying on my bilical hernia on the radiator support. It's my favorite thing to do. Why does it turn so easy with a wrench, but I can't do it with my fingies? Okay. I think that's her. She's out. Let's take her into the barn, see if I can figure out what in the world I'm doing. What am I gonna start with? First, I should probably get a screwdriver. Step one, looks like, look at this is a reman tag. Put that right in my eyes. I should have looked at this before I bought the carb kit. I kind of just uh, took a stab in the dark as to what it was. You know, being the expert of the fact that I've never been into a uh, automotive carburetor before, only Lawnmower, small engines, motorcycles, that sort of stuff. I figured it was the right thing to do, just guess. Auto light.
All right, so I've got the carburetor bolted back on. Same process as taking it off while the reverse. I did pull the hard gas line out and kind of have it pointed up over here. So I'm going to use this as my fuel tank, if you will. I'm just going to fill up this line, which will fill up the bowl because uh, I'm not utilizing the original fuel pump down here because it's connected to the gas tank, so on and so forth. I think I'm ready to pour some fuel down that line, see if it pours out anywhere, hook up the battery and give her a go. I think that's the order of stuff I'm going to do. Pour some gas right over this hot exhaust area. It's not hot, but hopefully it will be in a few minutes. Oh, smells like something. Turn the key on. Just kidding, it is on. All right, I get my magic starter wire that I had made up. Fire in a hole. Scared me. gas in it. Hang on. I think she needs a little more fuel. Seems like there's a vacuum leak or something, huh? As long as run so far. Pretty exciting though. I don't think my accelerator pump's working. <laughs> Gotta get that uh, dove into and figure that out. So just for continuity's sake, I decided to put on a different shirt. Uh, same hat, uh, wait about two seasons in, of the year, let some leaves fall down, and then I decided to come back and work on it. So if I remember correctly, I had a hunch that I put the diaphragm for the accelerator pump in backwards. I opened up and confirmed. I thought I had the camera running. Of course I didn't. There's a little button that comes in contact with this arm inside there that needs to be pushed. So I think that's correct now. So once I get this fueled up, I should have uh, the accelerator pump to be able to actually ease onto the gas when it's running from the idle. So it's supposed to just fall on his face and quitting. At least that's my assumption. Uh, I should probably blow off these leaves. I'm going to go get some fuel. Oh, I also lubed up the throttle linkage so I got the pedal in operation from the cab which is I don't know kind of a nice convenience should be able to start it from inside okay I got the breather cap blocked off from the uh, valve cover and the carburetor plugged off with a couple rags and give it a quick once over I need a brush hog in here All right, 
That's drastically better. Not what I would call good. Just an improvement. All right. Got the battery in. I suppose I'll fill up my makeshift fuel tank. Oh, I should see if it cranks first. Ah, of course, of course it will. Hey, maple helicopter seed pods. Can I just ram jam down the car? But let's find out. All right. I think that's fullish. Okay. Totally sanitary. All right. Let's fire it up. I'm going to try it from the key. Let's see. Oh, key is on. All right, let's make sure. Yep. Choke operates. Not really like butter, but more like, more like margarine. Out of gear. Check. See if I can do this while holding the camera. Oh, she's back. Oh my gosh. Probably a little more choke. That is awesome. All right. There's a little more in here. Let's give her a little more. She's she's thirsty. Okay, that's three times I've hit my head on it. Okay. I do think I need to clean the windshield. Did you guys get a peek of this? It looks way clearer through the window or through the camera than it does in real life. I wouldn't be able to even order my Taco Bell through this. All right, I'll get that cleaned up. Maybe uh, stick some more gas in there. See what happens. All right, let's just give a gander what the elements are that this thing's in. Tire's low, but it looks roundish. Back tires, oh, I'd say more of the same. <sighs> Do I walk around that way? Nope. This tire, it's down in there and down. I think it's, I think it's got enough air in it to roll me out of there. Oof, blackberries, pokiest thing known to man, right behind the carpet tack strip. I think those wheels are about the same. All right, let's see if this thing will move out of a hole that's been in for way too long. All right, let's see if she can run out of the hole. Let's do this. All right. I sprayed a little gas in the carburetor, put some in that. Oh, does this window work? Huh. Why would I even ask? Oh, should I put the hood down? We're going down. Timber. All right, are we ready? You know what I should do? Well, I think I got to reverse first. Clutch gonna engage. if she wants to. All right, let's try the granny gear. Wings running out of fuel. Blast! Oh, this here is ridiculous. Everything else sounds exactly how I remember it. Okay. Bowls full. Operation hood fold. Oh man, that, that hurts me a little bit every time I do it. All right, we're trying again.
She's trying. I wonder if I got a front brake that's locked up. Boy, I think she's just burning up that fuel. I gotta get a fuel source. Well, the old girl needs a little help getting out of her uh, resting spot for the last 20 years, so she won't drive out on her own. I'm gonna bump it back with the skid loader because I got a black walnut tree growing up in front of it. So I think previously I had a little bit of bad intel. This wheel here is locked up. I'm assuming it's just the brake drum because it's not the line because I don't think the master cylinder can do anything. So I'm gonna try jacking her up and then proceed to either beat it with a hammer or see if I can pull it. Most likely beat it with a hammer. I don't think this thing has spun since Hector was a pup. Let's see if I can get the jack on. Cancel it, let's see if these babies will come loose first. You can tell by the thread sticking out, it's lefty loosey. Not even gonna need the torch on it. That's awesome. Oh, I lost my belts. So hopefully, you guys don't get any free shows back there. Blew out my belt after probably 15 years. Last one lasted 25. I think my waistline's working a little harder than it used to. Best to just wedge it under there. That way it can never come out. All right, fire up the turkey call. Any wiggle? Absolutely not. All right, NASCAR. It's gonna work. Make room. Oh yeah, all day. On Sunday. All right, we'll get a bar and a hammer. Ooh. Seems to be nicely greased in there. You saw when I was standing on the bar in the time lapse, but I made a boo-boo. The bearing came out of the drum, the outside bearing, dropped it in the dirt. But that gave me enough wiggle room to get the drum to tip. I was able to get my pry bar in there. I thought I was videoing, but I wasn't. So there's a little recap. I got her uh, pried off of there, worked it off. Honestly, once that outside bearing was off, it was good to just wobble it out. The drum itself looks pretty good. You can tell it was sitting in one spot, a little bit of surface rust and that one there the brake shoes were sitting in one spot for a long time but not a big ridge on there by any means what i'm gonna do is take a regular picture now so when i take this off get the shoes out of there so this drum will or the wheel will turn so i can move it out of here that way in nine to twelve months i can pull the parts and pieces out of the box look at this picture and see how to put it together now's the time to blow it apart i'll get the drum back on wheel back on i should be able to sneak it out of its resting place <music>
And let's see if this pig will fire up. I feel like my fuel pump is not cooperating greatly. Maybe that was just a fluke. Last time. I don't, but one can be hopeful. Okay. Give a little extra. Camera, I know you want to play frisbee. Now is not the time. Very important matters at hand here. I don't know if the fuel pump's working just yet. But we're going to hope and pray that it is. Oh gosh, this hurts me so much. I'll run to see if that, that wheel is moving. That's the top. Very scientific. not super happy. So I'm gonna test that fuel pump and I'll pull off the line off the carburetor, give her a couple cranks and see what's spurting out of there if anything. All right let's look right down here at this line coming out. Gotta do some lawn maintenance in here again. Dribbling. So I had a few minute hiatus. Mama called me, there was supper on the table. I can't miss a meal. So prepare yourself for lots of old man moaning and groaning and uncomfortableness. Even though I didn't really overeat, I'm just, I'm to that stage of my life. So just to show, I can't, I can't move this thing by hand, so. The brakes are in need of a little bit of attention, to say the least. So are my barnacles. Did I say this yet? I do love this impact driver. Oh, see, I'm full. To answer your question, we had fish and chips. Let's see if I can do this. Bend out the Kataki. How tight is that nut? Shouldn't be too tight. Nope. Huh? Oh, look at that. And ta da. Put up here in the sterile work platform. What do you got? Pry bar. That's what it's going to get. I'm glad you guys are getting to see this one. Actually, I should double check to make sure that I got the camera on. Like the last darn time. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Nope. Not enough. Oh, 
this is gonna hurt me. Now what? Oh, I lied. I lied straight to ya. Oh yeah, that's just as rusty as the other side. Obligatory pictures. So can I do, so let's do this. Show that's the passenger side. And then up close. This angle. Yes. Yes. These, uh, holy catfish. I'm taking note. But these things look like woofing nails. Isn't that weird? Look like a framing nail kinked over. I never, I don't think I've ever done one like that. Usually they're the, uh, they look like nails, but they're straight and have a flat side. So you put that little spring on it, turn it, half turn. I mean, after you fight it for a half an hour. You can see where those pads are rusted on there. Google it, way. That looks much better. Oh yeah, miles farther. Okay. I should have jumped on the computer and ordered a fuel pump while I was in there. Eating my fish sticks. Where she needs to go now. With the improper tool. I don't know if I've ever used the crescent wrench for turning a crescent wrench set up here before. It is working. My old man would come back out of the grave if I didn't reuse this cotter key. I mean, it's still good for another 30, 40 years. I'm trying not to make those little hand noises, but I feel like it's inevitable. I could have went up to the bar and got another cotter key by now, but it's the principle of the matter. Time. Just kidding. I don't want to compare myself to anybody. All right, we're skipping granny gear, going straight for the second. Oh, look at this. Like a champ. Boy, I gotta clean these windows. So now, I think I'm gonna make this thing a little more streamlined. So I'm back at it tonight. I ordered a new fuel pump, because as I displayed yesterday, I think this one went the way of the dodo bird. I just think it's it's extinct. Hmm, you know what, now that I see this, it does have the filter on the bottom. Maybe it's just plugged. It's worth spending the 45 bucks or whatever it was for the best, you know, mediocre fuel pump that money can buy on three hours notice delivered to the neighboring parts store. All right, here's a little sit rep. I think I accidentally bought the right uh, fuel pump. This one came with the, brass fitting that goes to the flare that was the hard uh, feed line to the carburetor. The old one, as you probably noticed, had a janky piece of fuel line with two hose clamps on it just to kind of cinch it up. I'm willing to bet that could have been my old man's handiwork. Circa, who knows, 99. So I'm going to pull off the air cleaner, probably give a little bit of a snort into the uh, carb bowls and see if she'll pop off and see if she'll run longer than 34 seconds. All right, same plan as last. Ah, night. Oh my goodness. Oh. You guys probably think I'm an idiot, but I love it. She just needs a cobweb blown out of her. Or a valve job, or timing's off. 
or I don't know how many other things can be wrong. So what's next for the old girl? Doesn't look like it, but I think she's spruced up just enough to make it back into the barn. First time under a roof, decades. I'll just leave it at that. So, all right, I'm gonna fire it up. Try to ram jam this hood down a little bit and see if we can make it over to the shed. <sighs> all right, let's see what happens. This might be an absolute raging mistake. No brakes, no spotter. Kind of dark. Dirty windshield and back glass. But you never know unless you try. If I dent my barn, I'm going to be so upset. Oh, yeah, no power steering. Oh, ho. Oh, she's got a wide rear end. All right, hang on. Coast. Good girl. Well, well, you look at that in all of its glory. All right, it might not have any glory at all. But it's in. Like I said, first time in in decades. All right, now that I got this beast in the barn, what's next, you might ask? I'm not 100% sure. I think I'll give her a quick tune-up, do plugs, wires, check the cooling system, eventually probably evolve into reworking the brake system. But before all that happens, see this mirror in here? It's gonna help regain control of my face. It's like I got a raccoon hanging to the bottom of my chin. The goatee's winning the battle at the moment. Um, yeah, I guess tell me in the comments what I should do with this truck. I have some ideas of what I want to accomplish with it. I guess I've enjoyed working on it so far. I'm, you know, it's bringing back a lot of memories. It sounds exactly how it did, that it, you know, in my memories. I enjoy finding the old Leatherman tool in there and the, the Knox lumber flag for the back. So yeah, all in all, good memories. This was a long time coming. I mean, shoot, I started working on this video probably about nine months ago before Mother Nature threw me a curveball and give me some other projects to work on in the meantime before I could get to this. So, I mean, the excuses, what, everyone's got one, right? Or multiple. I guess I'll quit dilly-dally, finish up, knock down these chin hairs, and I'll say, thanks for watching. Much better. Who else has 9,000 clips of themselves? staring into the GoPro. Man, it's ridiculous.